What is up guys, welcome back to another vlog on Should Be Good. So, I got my 350Z here. If you guys don't know, I got this thing for 650 bucks. Um, I've got pretty much everything uh, before I need to get a tube front end. And a lot of people are asking me what is a tube front end. So, basically, uh, what a tubular front end is going to do. Um, if you can see the damage right here, I'll zoom in on it. So, what the tube front end is going to replace, I'll take off this fender so you can see it a lot better. Uh, this crunched in part right here will all be chopped off from the firewall. A tube will come out here, be welded. It'll have a new strut tower support. A normal tube front end would only come about right here um, after the strut tower and it would just be a simple bloop, hold on your fender, hold on your radiator support, hold on your bumper, and hold on your headlights. But what I'm getting it is going to replace the top of the shock tower. Also, it is going to straighten all this up, all this bent frame and all the twisted part of it will be all cut off. And for the rest of the car that is probably a little bit tweaked all the way into the trunk, this thing was smashed pretty hard, I'm not going to worry about it because this is going to be a car that I'm going to be flying off track, I'm going to be tapping other people's doors and I'm not going to worry about. So um, the Blue Z right there, right there, um, if I were to be drifting that car, which I'll be drifting it March 10th, um, I'm not going to be trying to bash on doors. I'm not going to be fully sending it because uh, it's super nice. I don't want it to be, uh, I don't want it to be beat on too bad because you know it is a nice car. And a lot of you guys in the comments, you know, say it's a virgin, so keep her, keep her nice. So I'm, a, I'm a keep her nice, but I'm still going to drift her. It still has a welded diff in. But for this thing, she is not a virgin, and she, she's seen multiple proms and homecoming. So. So I'm not too worried about getting this thing smashed up. So this will be the smash car and that will be the nice car. So in today's video, I'm gonna be not doing too much. Uh, I'm gonna try to cut out these airbags. Uh, they're a little bit bloody, so they're a little bit nasty. So I'm gonna try to cut out these airbags, make it a little bit cleaner in here. Um, try to clean out most of the interior because it's super dirty. Uh, I don't know what, what, what I should do here. I, should I gut this 350Z or should I keep it um, full interior? It, it, it's, it's broken, it's it's a lot of things in here. Oh, oh, see like two of the air conditioning things just fell off. So should I rip it up? Should I take everything out? Ugh. Make it a nasty drift car? Or should I keep it clean? And make it a clean, even though this car will probably never go up on the streets. Another question to ask you guys. I haven't looked it up on Google yet. I haven't asked anybody on Facebook yet, but I want to see if you guys know or if any of you guys know. Um, in Washington, will I be able to get this car registered after I get the tube front on? So I have a bill of sale from the auction, and especially with the tube front end, I don't want a state person, you know, opening up the hood and seeing the tube front end and being like, what is this? So I got me handy dandy snippers. I'm try to snip this airbag. I should just. I'm gonna get a little bit better tool. So I brought in the big daddy. I know this probably isn't the safest and it's not the smartest, but. So I got this little cauliflower pouch of airbag left. What I'm gonna do is just shove her in there. Now that we got the holes, we just gotta bring them together, brother. All right, so now we gotta attack this side. So, gotta rip all this stuff out. About to cut off all this, but... The seat has a bunch of glass on it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean this up real quick. I'm gonna grab the mini vacuum. Now that the seat's clean, get this guy out. Here, my shoe, push it down with my shoe, bust the big boy out. Get chopping. Oh. 
Whoa! Shit! Mint. I didn't mean to do this, but I just broke it off. Cannabis Nation Z. So, see if we can just, uh, oh, there we go. I don't know about you guys, but from an angle, this almost looks clean title. Since this thing has no battery, I'm gonna have to go inside the trunk, crawl through here, Spy Kids style, and pull the lever that opens this hatch up. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm out, we made it. So, now that I got the hatch open, I can clean it up a little bit. Let's see what we got in here. We got a headlight part. Uh, a blah. This must be this piece. And she's cherry. The panel under the passenger side glow department? I think, yeah, this is for the cup holder, so. Alright. Passenger wheel well. Check if she's got a spare tire. Oh, yeah, she does. Alright, we are back inside with my boy Apollo. Turned five months old in three days, so. It's crazy how fast these little guys grow up. Still can't crawl though, but. 350Z right there. Oh, ay, 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 ay. Okay, so this is a little weird. I don't know. I'm about three miles away from. Uh, shit. Here, I guess I'll say I'm getting food. So I shall be back. We back with the goodies. recording my camera just fell out of my seat and my mileage just hit that ah! I don't know about that man four sixes and on my way to work today it's gonna be five sixes I hate to say it because I'm finally home but I gotta go to work soon and everybody knows how that is gotta gotta keep the grind going but I just got done tightening up Little things like the suspension bolt and the sway bar bracket that, you know, I just had hand tight or just tightened with the wrench. Uh, got them all torqued down. Also, just kind of looking for, like, more creases in the body. Like, right there, it kind of looks like more creases in the frame. Um, I know it's all going to get chopped off, but I had this guy comment in the last video. that said he saw some creases in the trunk, but I don't know how he did because it's all plastic but those stickers are coming soon uh, I got two colors that are being made right now I think one's gonna be gold and then the other one's gonna be holographic so I'm gonna have to double check on that but I think that's pretty cool comment down below what you guys want to see uh, let me know if you guys just want white or black but I'm only gonna, only gonna get two colors 50 of each and then yeah we'll go from there let me know what you guys want to see I feel like a lot of the videos that I post on the bluesy you guys don't really like uh, they kind of get low amounts of views but um, I do street drift this you know quite amount I'm waiting for park which is May 10th which is gonna be sick I'm gonna be able to push this stock Z you know to what it's got for the red Z I'm pretty much done with it until I get the tube front um, it's just stuff I gotta buy I'm on Craigslist nonstop looking for a hood and a bumper and a headlight that's all I need besides the tube front 
Also, I need the wiring to be done, but hopefully Level Ride is going to be able to provide me with some of those um, services. Otherwise, then I'll send it to somewhere else because I'm not too good up with, you know, chopped up wiring from a crash. But it seems to start and run, so I guess we'll just have to figure out why it's not revving up. Um, what I think it is, it's the oil pressure sensor that's not plugged in. So maybe I'm going to try to bypass that. I just really don't want to start it until it's done and... I just don't want to even start it until it goes to level ride, comes back with all fresh fluids and everything, and I just want to hear it, you know, run perfectly. The trans, you know, isn't pushed up against the driver's seat and stuff. So, you know what you guys want to see. If you guys have any ideas of what I could do to this car, or any ideas what I could do for this car, uh, just let me know. But until then, I'm still going to be swaying and I'm still going to be making videos. So, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, got some stuff with the Z. Like I said, can't really do too much until it gets sent to level ride. Uh, Blue Z has six 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 zero miles, so on the way to work it's gonna hit five sixes. That's gonna be pretty weird. So stay tuned for the next video, and if you guys haven't, subscribe and throw the thumbs up if you guys like the video. So, peace out, guys. Stay swinging.